Coming up next, we present this heavyweight championship fight between Francis Ngannou and Clover Teixeira. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off. Right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now. To share is right back to the full mount. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when to hold him, no, no when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big kick lands. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Francis and Ghana. What a takedown. Close guard. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Nice hammer fist. Oh, man, hammer fist again by Teixeira. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. It won't take many of those. Oh, just a killer jab there from Francis Ngannou. I don't know about you fights this guy, man. Aren't you coaching high school wrestling yeah, instead? Yeah, I'm coaching Mustang. <laughs> they say Ngannou, I say, I got a tournament this weekend. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Big punch from the clinch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. All right, we have arrived at the start of round okay, two. Right round two. Francis right. Ngannou. Let's go, and also ready to go with round two for to share. Good punch. Front kick to the body by Ngannis. Oh, uppercut to the head. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice punch by Ngannou. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Straight right. Ngannou's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Oh, nice block there from the 
out as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top control? Both fighters back to their feet now. So 52 total strikes have landed for Francis and Ghana. And landing at a 54% clip tonight against Glover Teixeira. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. It's such a fast leg kick. Octagon side after the swing and a miss by Glover Teixeira. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down from the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Yeah, left hook found its target. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up again. The kill shot is what they call it to go against the fight. 15 seconds to go. Straight right. Teixeira's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, no telestrator for DC. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice strike to the midsection glances. away from landing one of those big right hands. Now goes in and secures the takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. Back to the feet now. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Under a minute now to go in this one. Looks like maybe he's trying to get an arm underneath the chin. He's side to side, trying to get a bulldog choke. Oh! And he's out. Throwing that 
jab now again. The fire of All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15 minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Teixeira's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on them. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, nice jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over! Goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champion.